Hey YouTube, here we are. We're looking at recall, we're looking at proximity, we're looking at having a dog that wants to hang out with us. So I've been playing a couple of different games with Nifty and some of the things that I want to see with her are really bringing her closer to me. So I've been thinking about how I play. Now initially, I always used to play where I'd throw something away. So I'd throw it away and actually I was throwing all my value away and sometimes my dog was ending up doing that and not actually coming back into me or playing with me or being close to me. So I changed it up, whee, good girl. And I started to animate the toy with me. And rather than popping that toy in a different place, how about we play with this toy in close proximity to us? Because ultimately I want a dog that when I'm mooching around is gonna wanna hang out with me. So what I started to do, and I'm gonna take you for a bit of a wander around. What I started to do when I was out and about and run, wandering around is I started to reward her more for being just around me rather than popping that toy out in a distance rewarding her for actually hanging out for just being near me and taking opportunities and this could be food this could be toy nice for actually just reinforcing good decisions for hanging around do you want to be in this proximity with me it might be something as simple as I know I need to get hold of it, it might be something as simple as playing between your legs or it could be something like you've just seen tugging close, or it could be actually walking and mooching about. So walking and mooching about and seeing that, she says, I can't let this toy go right now. I'm loving my toys. And you can use toys or food. I'm choosing toys because they are probably her absolute favorite thing. But if you can be mooching around, nice, super girl. Very clever, very clever, very nice, super girl. And most of all, what I'm looking for, good girl, thank you, is a pup who wants to hang out. So as she's moved, nice, yeah, good girl. Now, I've also started to add in a layer of restrained recalls. Now, restrained recalls, I don't know, Tom, if you wanna come up with me on these. Restrained recalls for a pup like Nifty, she is a pup that maybe doesn't want to be restrained because ultimately this she's going to want to go towards where she's going. So if you do ever use anyone to restrain your dog, ultimately what I've noticed in her, proximity is something she's going to need. So she's a border collie. She's a dog who wants to be out in the distance. Tell me, YouTube, if you have a dog that wants to be out in the distance, because I bet you do. Um, so many of us do. And at the same time, I'm going to need to want to sort of build value at being close. Even so, Restrained recalls can be brilliant, but dogs can worry about them. Yeah, right? absolutely. And you need to make sure that this is appropriate for your dog in terms of them happy to be they're, they're happy to be handled. Um, but also, you need to make sure that you know it's not going to make them so frustrated that it's kind of bringing the wrong emotion to the session. So you want to make sure they've got a good tolerance of frustration, and you want to make sure they're happy being handled. Now, ultimately, with Nifty, I do want to do some dog sports and I do want to do some agility. So a level of arousal up is something I'm going to encourage you might want a fraction less than I do and that's absolutely okay. Remember you're going to train the dog in front of you and most of all you're going to be looking for what you need in your dog. Yeah. Now I do go for higher energy so if you want to tone it down a little, turn that switch down a little, that's cool too. Right I'm going to give you her here Tom so you're just going to gently take hold of the shoulders and as Go. you ready? I know I'm going to lead out and I'm going to take my two toys. She is definitely keen. Are you ready? Get it. Yay. Super. And I think a little layer of these in her training is a nice way for her to yeah. know that I'm the space I want her to be. I'm the place that I want her to be. Now I've taken a puppy line off because I'm pretty sure she's going to come to me and I don't want anything getting stuck. So I've actually taken the puppy line off. No, that's your puppy line. So I've taken the puppy line off. Equally, if you think you would feel safer with a puppy line, please, please, please do use one. Mm -hmm. We have those on the Absolute Dog Store. They're fantastic for your dog's safety and for you feeling a little bit more confident. So if you need those, please do go ahead and use them. Okay, Nifs, we're gonna do it again. Are you ready? I know. All Three, right. two, one. Go. I know, I just need this toy back. Uh, Are you ready? Uh, uh. Three, two. Yay! And what I might do is change direction a couple of times. Get it? Super! So actually, I keep her on her toes. So many times you change directions, say in the woods, and you have to call your dog, or you change directions on the moors, and you have to call your dog, or your dog goes ahead and forgets where you even are because they're not looking for you. I want to see that when I'm out and about, that my dog, even if they're as young as little Nifty here, that they're looking for me. Now remember, 
Toys like I'm using for so many of you are gonna be not necessarily your best reward. Mm. Remember you use your best reward. So if food is better for you, please use your food. It absolutely is yeah. what's rewarding for your dog, not, what, not what's rewarding for you. Yeah. I'm gonna do one more of those where I change direction. One more change direction. Mm -hmm. And I want you to see, ready? Good. Nice. Nice. <laughs> changing, changing, changing. Yeah, and you good. Want your dogs to be hunting you Super. down. That's the goal. Super. And it doesn't matter what age your dog is here, it's them looking for you. They are trying to hunt you down. Whether you're working with a puppy, an adult dog, a rescue dog, a rehome dog, yeah. your dog's hunting you down. So it's yeah. a bit of a proximity episode. We're looking for dogs to want to be close, whether they're playing between your legs, whether they're doing a restrained recall, whether you're looking for some close play. What you saw early on, don't throw your value out there. That's not a clever move. Don't pop all the toys in the corner. Let's not, let's, let's ditch the idea of fetch. Yep, let's, let's play better games. Let's instead create a dog that actively is looking to hunt us down and, and catch us rather than the other way around. That was this episode of Absolute Dogs TV. Remember to hit subscribe if you haven't already. Share it with a friend if you haven't already. Brother, and we will sister, see father, you mother. Next week. <laughs> Remember Game Changers, whatever the dog owning struggle, there's a game for that. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe to our channel. And check out our new 25 day online dog training challenge. Watch the videos, play the games, transform your dog owning struggles. As a loyal YouTube subscriber, you can get a 70% discount through the link in the description below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the number one most transformational dog training podcast on iTunes and Spotify, the Sexier Than a Squirrel podcast. And remember to follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more live teaching, video content and free training using the links in the description. Blah! <laughs>